So this attitude is really a pet peeve of mine because even, even if the world is going to end in a big blaze of glory like dispensationalists believe, and I'm not saying I disbelieve that, but I'm just saying this idea that they've got in their head of how Revelation is going to play out and everything. Even if that's going to happen, that's not guaranteed that's going to happen now, next year, 10 years from now. I mean, I know we're meant to live as though Jesus can return any day, but at the same time, we were given a mandate to look after creation. It was literally one of the first things God said to us as people in Eden. Take care of the world. Take care of the earth. Cultivate it. Be fruitful and multiply. We've done the latter part. We've been fruitful. We have multiplied to the point that we are breaking the place because we are not doing the first part of looking after the planet. I once saw a clip from Mark Driscoll, if you remember him, the uh, controversial Mars Hill pastor in America. He uh, said something like, you know, you drive down the motorway or whatever, freeway we call it in America, and he just have like his McDonald's cup or whatever, and he throw out the window because who cares? Don't need to recycle, don't need to put things in the bin because the world's going to end one day. As though it's going to end there and then, and his rubbish habits aren't going to have consequences in the here and now. What about his children, our children, your children, my children? We've got to think about the future, even if we think in the future the world will end. There's still now, there's still tomorrow. We don't know when that happens. Therefore, we should preserve and look after the earth for the time we're on it. And then, should Jesus come back tomorrow instead? Big deal. We've done our God-given mandate of looking after and caring for the planet we live on, i.e. God's creation. I mean, what is a better thing to look after than the literal creation of God that you're meant to worship?